All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God, so people here for a bit. We ought to obey God rather than man. Who the ignorantly call God, we ought to obey Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Rather than man, you know, the scriptures tell us to do something, you do it to the best of your ability. You know, that's the first thing that I thought about when I woke up this morning. Obeying Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, to the best of my ability. You know, the scriptures say, um, they that fear Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, when I disobey his word. So we're going to hop right into it. Well, one of the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. That's what we do these lessons for. Let's go to the book of Psalms, right quick. Short little lesson through the spirit. About to head on out, go to work. You know how I go. If you don't work, you don't eat, right? Yeah, but we, we all know the slogan. But sticking with the topic, we ought to obey your how by Shimia Shai rather than man. I'm gonna bring out some scriptures just proving why. We ought to obey your how by Shimia Shai rather than man. This is Psalm chapter 96. We'll start it on, let me see. We'll start at four. For the Lord Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus Christ, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared. But you say you love him, right? He is to be feared. Why, why do these pastors ain't say Why do these pastors ain't teaching their congregation to fear the God of the Bible? Why are they not teaching their congregation that the God of the Bible kills, he keeps alive, he wounds, he heals? Why are they, why are they not doing that? For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Take those other false gods and throw them in the trash. Take Allah, throw it in the trash. Take Buddha, throw it in the trash. Take Santa Maria, throw it in the trash. I said Allah, I'm going to say it again. Throw it in the trash. Haley Selassie, throw it in the trash. The Kemet gods, throw it in the trash. You know, JC, throw it in the trash. And anything else up under the sun, throw it in the trash. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, made the heavens. You know, jump down to eight. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering, making your body a living sacrifice, right? And come into his courts. And that's what the majority of our people, you Israelites, are not doing. It says, Fear the Lord. All the gods of the nations are idols. But that's what our people worship, though. They've been, they been stopped worshiping the Lord, man, according to the Bible. They've been stopped doing that, you know? They they honor the Lord with their lips, man. But the scriptures say, well, we ought to obey your how about Shemel Shai rather than man, right? And this is just as I'm um, a still frame, a still image of what the scriptures say the Lord look like according to the Bible. And when he come back, you're going to see exactly what he look like. You're going to say he's just a spirit. Um, Lord, I'm sorry. My pastor taught me that, that you was just a spirit and you look like this, then the third. Nah, there ain't going to be no time for all that right there. All that's going to go out the window when the Lord come. You know, like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your house. But you know, shut up. We ought to obey the heavenly father and his son rather than man. You don't get no plainer than that. Don't get no plainer than that. This Hebrews. Chapter 10. We start at 30. For we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. That's why we just chilling. That's why we just chilling. Because vengeance belongeth unto him. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus. Vengeance belongeth unto him, right? That's what he, he just said, that, right? Look, look, the majority of the Israelites said they don't want to hear what the prophets got to say. And we're coming straight out of the Bible. So the Lord said this, for we know him that have said, vengeance 
belongeth unto me. Not love, not hugs, not kisses. Look, but vengeance. Payback. A merciless kill. Having no pity on you. I will recompense. Save the Lord. And the word recompense means payback. Pay you back for all your wickedness. And again, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall judge his people. He's going to judge you with fire. He's going to judge you with vengeance. The scripture says he said, He shall plead with all flesh with fire. And the slain of the Lord shall be many, right? That's why, that's another reason why we ought to obey Yahweh Bashim Yahweh rather than man. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. This is the living power. This is a depiction of him. Now, we ain't saying he looks exactly like this. But this um, depiction of saying this image closely, closely depicts what the Lord looks like. Then that other image, then that pale face image that you got in your house that you need to take out of your house. But you're going to come in that Florida Evan spirit anyway. Look at the episode of Good Times. The majority of our people, they're in that Florida Evan spirit anyway. JC is the only one we know. We grew up with him. And that's all we believe in. You can't pour new wine in an old bottle anyway. You old bottles going to burn. You old bottles going to burn when the Lord come. And you're going to really go through it before the Lord even pop up on the scene. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter, and this is what made me want to do the lesson. I'm doing a lesson off this scripture right here. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai rather than men. Now, how do you believe Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? By taking heed to the word. By taking heed to the word. These pastors are not coming out of the Bible. I mean, how many times do, do somebody got to tell you, Israelites, to get out of them churches? The pastors line, them churches be packed every Sunday, three times a week, listening to this crap. This pastor been telling you for years, it ain't nothing changed. As long as you keep giving them money, he going to keep lying to you. But what the scriptures say, Acts chapter 5, verse 29, that Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh rather than man. But the pastor ain't going to tell you that. The pastor going to tell you to obey him. Every time that pastor keep telling you to obey him. Don't obey what the word is saying. Oh, look, obey what I say. Okay. You had the pastor telling you that he can forgive you for your sins. Just um, give about $40, $49. Every month, and I'm, I'm going to forgive you for your sins. Look, the only entity that can forgive us for our sins is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The scriptures tell you that. Not, not man. Man can't forgive you for your sins. Only the Lord can. It, it, it's outrageous, man. It, it really is. Let's get some rock right quick. It's, it's really outrageous. We ought to obey your how by Shimei Shai rather than a man. Let's get this. So Rock chapter 2. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your how by Shimei Shai. I'm on my way out the door. Do something right quick. This is um, so Rock chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord, look, look, fear again, not love, you know, fear again. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. We ought to obey the heavenly father rather than man, right? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Now, we just read the God of the Bible is going to come back and judge his people. And they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Obeying the heavenly father rather than man, that's well pleasing until you have but Shimei was shy. And it starts out with fear. And they that love him, you say you love him, right? And they that love him shall be filled with the law. You know, and then the next scripture we're going to say, they that fear you have but Shimei was shy will prepare their mind, will get their mind right. According to the Bible, because guess what? It's, it's going down. It's going down. 
We ought to obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai rather than man. That that's the lesson. Obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Listen to what the scriptures are saying. The scriptures are speaking loud and clear. And, and everything was written for our learning. Everything that I'm reading. It was written for our learning. This is Proverbs. Chapter 3, we'll start at verse 5. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, who they only call God and Jesus Christ, with all thine heart, with all your mind, and lean not into thine own understanding. Well, well I thought it meant this. Well, I, I, I thought it meant that. You, you mean to tell me it don't mean that? It means this? Trust in the Lord. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thine own understanding. That's what got Israel in trouble. The scriptures say, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. Once again, that's what got Israel in trouble. That's what got us in trouble anyway from the beginning. Leaning into our own understanding instead of trusting in the true and living power that created the heavens and the earth. Started worshiping idols and things of that nature, golden statues, you know, different deities. Started worshiping ourselves, started worshiping our women, started worshiping our riches, you know, our worldly possessions. We're supposed to be worshiping the true and living power the whole time. Then you wonder why you're going through something. You wonder why you're catching a whole lot of hell because you ain't trusting in the Lord. You still in 2020, you still leaning into your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. And the majority of our people are not doing that. That's why you get caught up in that storm. You, you, you sure enough get caught up in that storm. We ought to obey your how by Shem Shai rather than a man. And I'm coming straight out the Bible with it. We always do starting off with the head apostles and the elders of great millstone and the men on down. Everything we say coming straight out the Bible. First Samuel chapter two, verse six, the Lord killeth. We ought to obey the heavenly father and his son rather than man. Why? Because the Lord killeth and maketh for life. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low. And lift it up, man. We ought to obey the Heavenly Father and the Son rather than man. We ought to obey God rather than man. Because he can kill you and keep you alive. What part of that don't Israel understand? He can make you poor. He can make you rich. All, look, all the above. All the above, man. I mean, this is, this is coming out right plain. It's coming out real plain, Israel, who we ought to obey. Fear him. Look, don't fear him that you kill the body, but fear him that you kill that body. Take that spirit, put it in another body, keep torturing it to death, man. Really make you feel something, man. Romans chapter 2, verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know. For there is no respect of person with you have by Shem Yahweh Shai. You either follow the ladder to the best of your ability or get destroyed. As the scriptures tell you, the wages of sin is death. Sin is the transgression of the law, man. The wages of sin is death, Israel. And, and, look, and that's what's coming. Death. De look, death on top of death. I, I people ain't seen nothing yet. Let's go back to Sirach. Death on top of death is coming. We just read earlier in that Hebrews is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. This is Sirach, chapter 11. One thing I people think about is going to the beach and going to the bar and going to these different restaurants. Didn't read it. The city's been locked down, no saying, for like two months. They ain't opened up their Bible one time. Ain't that something, Israel? 
The city's been locked down, you know what I'm saying, for two months. And Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans didn't open up their Bible one time. Didn't read now verse. They was too busy calling on the government. Didn't think twice about Yahweh, about Shemel Shah. And that's, that's, that's sad right there. Our people didn't open up their Bible one time, the whole time, in the last two months. It's crazy. Sirach so chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Poverty and riches. Come of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We ought to obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai rather than man, right? Because prosperity come from him. Having things, adversity comes from them, catching hell, life comes from them. The Lord gives you life. You didn't wake yourself up this morning and death comes from them. They can put you to death. Poverty and riches come of the Lord. Who put, who put some money in your pocket? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Who made you poor? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law. Of the Lord, love and the way of good works are from Him. There's more reasons why we should fear Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. More reasons, Israel, of why we ought to obey Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. A whole lot of reasons, just right there. I'm just bringing out a couple of scriptures through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. It ain't a long lesson, just a couple of scriptures that should make you want to obey Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Colossians chapter 3. Verse 25, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of person. We just read that in Romans chapter 2, verse, uh, verse 11. Once again, Colossians chapter 2, chapter 3, Salakia, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no Respect the person. Look, there is no respect the person when it comes to judgment. Nah, there is no respect the person, man. Obey your how about Hashem Yahweh shot rather than a man. And I got one more scripture. And I'm gonna close it out. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your how about Hashem Yahweh shot. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. That's what we do these lessons for. The ones that don't obey Yahweh by Shemel Shah are going to get fried, died, and laid to the side soon. Come, so it's all good. You ain't got to take heed. You ain't got to listen. You caught up in that storm. That's all. You caught up in the storm. It's a war going on outside. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. This man right here is coming with fire. Who you equally call Jesus, he's coming with fire. All right? Look, not love, not hugs, not kisses, but fire, right? For behold, the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh will come with fire. And with his chariots, which you equally call UFOs, like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword, with the Lord plead, meaning judge, you say only God can judge you, right? By fire and by his sword, meaning the missiles and the laser beams coming from the chariots, will, will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's why we ought to obey Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua rather than man. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson through the spirit of your how about Shemiah was shot. Look, trying to put some fear in our people, according to the Bible. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. For behold, my I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man a reward, a reward according to his works. So whatever kind of energy you putting out there, that's the kind of energy that's going to come back to you, Israel. Obey Yahweh by Shemiah rather than a man. Shalom.